What's up? This is Squad 2448. We're following Sonic 17 video. Today we'll be taking a look at my top 15 favorite skid steers and front loaders here in FS17. All of the links can be found down below in the description. We'll be starting over here on the right with 8 different skid steers. And then we'll be making our way over here to the right to 7 different front loaders. I will be showing guys all of the features that make them my favorite skid steers and front loaders here in the game. Up first is the Bobcat S160, one of the smaller skid steers we'll be taking a look at today and this is a top one of my most popular and most favorite skid steers of all time this was released in fs13 converted to fs15 and now it's converted to fs17 which is pretty cool you guys can see very nicely done it is an s160 a bit on the smaller side it does a warm beacon light up top and on the first person view very nicely done you guys can see it does have pedal controls and two up here which is nice and overall i really do like this a lot it's pretty small and then you guys can see here for the arm just take a look at that very nicely done it and I mean that is awesome pretty high reach for skid steer of this size and like I was saying very nice now the turning on this is sometimes a bit tricky but other than that you guys can see it does turn slows down a little bit on the turns but other than that great handling and like I was saying perfect size up next we'll be taking a look at a Bobcat S770 released by Wood Metal Farming this is one of the largest skid steers we now have here in the game it does come with a track version which we will also be taking a look at today LED light bar up top which is pretty cool and this is by far my most popular one just because of how everything works on it. you guys can see all of the lights do work on this which is pretty cool I mean everything is on point you guys can see all of it does function and with the design of this arm it actually kind of pushes the bucket a little bit further away from the cab when loading on but you guys can see it has a very very, very high reach which is perfect for those bigger dump trucks and on the first person view pretty nice with a uh, interior now this handling is probably one of the best skid steers of all time does not rock back and forth and you can see you could do donuts for quite some time with it which is nice and like we're saying it does offer it also in a t770 which is pretty cool the t is for tracked and i mean this thing does look pretty cool very similar just that it is a track which is pretty cool and like we're saying big shout out goes to wood metal farming for releasing this and i actually haven't done a top 15 in quite some time so i thought we'll do it with skid steers and front loaders because you guys did request it. Up next we'll be switching to John Deere Skid Sears and up first is the John Deere 33. 3D. You guys can see very nicely done. Does come in tracked and wheeled version, which is pretty cool. Very high quality textures, which is nice. And this actually does come with a very realistic bucket that you could buy in the store. When you do hop here on the inside, you go 13 miles per hour. You guys can see all of the lights do work, which is pretty cool. And you guys can see the fan does work, which is nice. Very cool animations. Now the arm movement is a little slow on this, but you guys can see take off that arm movement. Pretty cool. I mean, that is awesome how that works, and it doesn't have the best reach-wise, but it is pretty cool. And then on the first person view, you guys can see pretty nicely done it. The two joysticks, the seats, and everything about this is pretty cool. Very high-quality ones, and a lot of the mods you guys are seeing today, I featured in so many videos here on the channel. Now, next up, we'll be taking a look at the wheeled version, which, like I was saying, is a viable option in the store now. The only problem with this is it does rock back and forth, and I will have to look into that. Other than that, that the handling of this is very nice and it overall is pretty cool. Up next, we'll be taking a look at a much larger John Deere skid steer, which is the 320E. Very nicely done. One beacon light, and this is very big, almost the same size as the Bobcat S770. You guys can see pretty big. Now, it does have the working lights, which is pretty cool. One beacon light up top, top speed at 30 miles per hour, and that's like the average speed for the skid steers. But you guys can see pretty nice. It does go up very high, which is nice. And I think the Bobcat does go up a little bit higher. Then on the first person view, you guys can see it does have an interior, everything like that, which is nice. We're actually kind of just parked this right up against that one. So you guys can see pretty much the same size as a Bobcat. And that's probably one of the largest Bobcats we can have here in the game. Up next, we'll be taking a look at a Cat Skid Steer, which is a 262B. Now, there's many different options when you can purchase a chains on the tires, tracks, everything like that, which is pretty cool. You guys can see this glass 
glass actually does come down, which is nice. Many skid steers do have doors, and I really do like how this works. But when you do press X, you can put that away if you do not want it, which is also a very cool feature. But you guys can see everything on this does look pretty cool. Now, this does rock back and forth, and this one does move around on the trailer just a little bit. On the first person view, you guys can see pretty nicely done. I mean, this thing does look pretty cool. Looks like some of the gauges do light up also, which is pretty realistic. And I really do like this cat. Looks pretty cool. And you guys can see that paint work is pretty realistic for a skid steer. Not the best condition because it does work a lot, which is what I want. I want ones that do work a lot. Up next in the final skid steer we'll be taking a look at today is a CAMS 635. This is probably one of the smallest ones. Very similar to the Bobcat S160. But take a look at this, guys. It is pretty small. Perfect for those mini landscaping jobs. You guys can see it doesn't have the best reach or best angle for unloading buckets. But just take a look at that. Pretty nice. Now the handling of this is on point and also does have a pretty detailed first person view. Very nice seat. And I will say that this has a very similar design to the Bobcat uh, Skid Series. But you guys can see very nice and I really do like this a lot. Like I was saying guys, all of the links can be found down below in the description. Up next, we'll be taking a look at my favorite front loaders. Up first is the John Deere 524K high lift loader. Now this bucket here is detachable, which is nice. And take a look at this, guys. One of the most used front loaders here on the channel, which is nice. Very high quality. Just take a look at that. All of the lights do work on it. Like I was saying, the bucket is detachable for all of those other attachments, which is also a big bonus. You guys can see it does have animations in there for everything like that. The drive shaft and on the first person view. Very nicely done. It And this does have a top speed of 26 miles per hour, so it does get up and go, which is nice. And like I was saying, very nicely done. One of my favorite ones because of the size and everything like that. And this thing really does a good job great sounds and it does look pretty cool up next we'll be taking a look at a very nice cat loader this is a 924 G loader pretty cool now one of the big bonuses to this is that it does have strobes which is pretty cool and I really do like this a lot take a look at all of the detail very cool and it is like the perfect mid-size uh, loader as you guys can see all of the lights do work on this which is pretty cool and then when you do press home you guys can see the beacon lights and all those different strobe lights do turn on which is pretty cool really do like those a lot and then on the first person you guys can see working mirrors everything like that so overall I really just enjoy using this loader I've used this for quite some time and this kind of came out at the start of FS17 up next we'll be taking a look at a much larger cat which is the cat 966 G released by wood metal farming there is a second version which has uh, no bucket on it and you could attach any attachment which is nice once you hop here on on the inside view, this goes 38 miles per hour. The beacon lights, everything like that works on it. But take a look at this bucket, guys. Very high quality uh, textures wise. Take a look at those hydraulics. I mean, very nice. It's a top one of my favorite uh, larger ones. And then you guys can see pretty nice interior view, but no working mirrors or steering wheel, which is okay. I really do like the outside view, and that pretty much does make up for it. But you guys can see overall very nice. Up next, we'll be taking a look at an even larger cat, which is a 9. 80k cat loader take a look at the size of this released by wood metal farming which he's been releasing some pretty cool equipment you guys can see this thing does look awesome now the bucket is permanently attached to this and there's no other option for it but as you guys can see take a look at that pretty high reach very big wheels on and turning is on point and you guys can see great interior even though it's not too detailed pretty realistic 41 miles per hour top speed I mean this is pretty fast you guys can see two hydraulics up front and I will be using this in a lot more videos to come which is nice and this thing does look pretty cool up next we'll be taking a look at a more rustic style fun loader which is pretty cool I do plan on using this in more videos I do get more requests to use older equipment so this is a great example of some of the older equipment which is my favorite you guys can see a lot of wear and tear on it paint wise uh, wheel wise everything like that which is pretty cool very nicely done it once you do hop here on the inside view it does have beacon lights this bucket can detach which is pretty cool you guys can see that is what it will look like if you do uh, detach it which is nice and I mean this thing just looks 
pretty cool. And on the inside view, this does have a few bonuses to it. You can have eyes, which is pretty cool. You could raise the window, open up the door on that side. You could actually do the same over here, lower that. I really do like IC a lot, where you could kind of do this. It looks like you can't really open up a window here in the back. But like I was saying, guys, a top one of my favorite older front loaders of all time. You guys can see great animations, great wheel textures, and everything like that is pretty cool. I really do like it a lot, especially with the look of those. And it looks like you could actually kind of close and open these from the outside view, which is perfect for realism. Up next, we'll be taking a look at another loader, which is pretty cool. It does come with a variety of attachments, and this one is color changeable. You guys can see this is a bit older, very big wheels, and this is overall one pretty big loader. Once we hop here on the inside view, 21 miles per hour, everything does work on it, which is pretty cool. Detachable bucket if you do want to detach it. And you guys can see it does have a very interesting loader design. I do like it a lot, but it doesn't have a high reach. And then on the first person view, the steering is off to the uh, left side, so it is not in the center like all of the other ones. But I still do like this, and I plan on using this in more videos. The last front loader we'll be taking a look at today is a Volvo. This is a bit here on the smaller side. Very nicely done. It looks like it's the 160 G loader, which is pretty cool. Just take a look at all of these textures on it. Very nicely done. And you guys can see it looks like there is IC also, which is pretty cool. Once we hop here on the inside of you guys can see pretty nice. It does have a beacon light. And then take a look at that hydraulic. I mean, very interesting how the bucket kind of turns and scoops. But overall, hope you guys enjoyed today's video showing you guys my top 15 favorite skid steers and front loaders here in FS17. All of the links will be down below in the description. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and subscribe for more. Yeah.